what's up everyone it's Dave and we are back with our next video here on YouTube uh, what we have is our BioLite camp stove 2 that we're going to do um, just an operations test on uh, so we just got it let's go ahead and get some pieces out if you want to see the unboxing video um, we'll throw it up here in the corner Got our little light, which we're not going to use the light today. We've got enough light right now. And then we have some fire starter. I'm not sure we're going to need that. Um, I do have some water here in case I do need to put anything out. And then I've got um, some small light pieces of tinder here. And then um, some bigger pieces of wood as well. Um, I also have here one cup of water basically what I want to do today is I want to see um, two things I want to see will it charge this speaker all right so we'll see it charging because if I turn it on right now I uh, probably shouldn't have done that <laughs> um, we'll, we'll see if it's charging all right, I'd, hopefully that didn't just mess the video up with me turning it on because this is actually synced to the device that I'm recording on. <laughs> um, um, we've got uh, this cable here, and uh, this just charges with a standard um, micro USB, and it actually came with one. So we'll use the one that it came with. I did have another separate one as well, but um, we'll, we'll use that one. So let's go ahead. We'll open up the back legs, or the front legs, technically, and we'll stick this sucker in here like this, put it on there, and then we'll extend this leg, and that locks this in place. You've got three sets of LEDs on here before we turn it on. Actually, we can go ahead and turn it on. Um, so the first one is our power. So the battery bank currently has full power in it. I did go ahead and put it on a charger last night um, with this cable and got it charged up. And you do that um, on the the back side, where was it? Right here on the bottom is the charger for it. So, um, so that's what your first light tells you, um, that you have power. All right, so then your next light is your fan speed. You have four fan speeds. And that's to help make this thing virtually smokeless. And then the next one, we're so we're gonna make sure that this is kind of facing towards you all on the camera, because this is gonna show the amount of output um, that the fire is doing for electricity. All right, so that's what, this is your fire meter, like how much power it's putting out. So obviously the hotter it burns, um, the brighter that's gonna show. So let's take this and just, come down with that just a little bit there we go um, so that's that so let's go ahead and put a few small pieces here um, I'm not really prepared for this so I'm not sure if I have enough wood um, to make this work right but we'll see um, also I've just got this pan but that sits right on here nicely so that should do well for our boil test and then just because I don't want to waste any time um, let's go ahead and just get into this um, starter stuff the uh, fire starter It's in um, little little bricks that comes in little pieces, so we're just gonna take one of them. There we go. So we're just taking a small little piece of that, and we're gonna put that down in there. <clears throat> Got our lighter. And then we can turn this on. Is our first fan speed. The higher the fan, the more output the fire is going to have, okay? 
so. Give you guys a view here. So there you go. So it's getting started. <clears throat> Don't need me so much in the picture right now. Let's just see how this thing gets going. And let's get it closer a little bit here so. You all can see whenever that lights up uh, red, which obviously it's going to take a little bit because it's got to warm up. There is a little, a uh, little red dot down there on the fire, so it is, it is starting. I don't know if you can see it there, just a little, little red dot there. So we got a little bit of smoke going. So you see by cranking that up how it does lessen the smoke a little bit. Let's turn it back down on low though. <laughs> it's following me. That's how it always works though, isn't it? Looks like it's starting to go now. So let's turn that fan down. <clears throat> so let's see, looking at this, we've got uh, two two LED lights showing up for the fire. So with that being the case, if we plug this in down here, and we plug it into our speaker, can see there the light flashing so it is charging it so that's good proof that it does charge crank it up over here
And uh, one of the things that they talk about is this is a, a top feeder. So um, when you're wanting to boil water or something, it does. Um, does require you to lift the pan off and, and feed it that way so all right we're gonna let my watch here get to um, 302 and then we're going to put this water on here and then just so you all can see it is still charging the speaker that's what that flashing white light is so the speaker is charging We got about 20 seconds and then we're going to put this on here and see how long it takes for it to boil our water. I uh, hear the average is around four minutes, but we'll see. This fire is nice though. Smoke is coming off. All right, here we go. Getting ready. Three, two, one, and go. All right. So let's take this back a little bit. see there all right now so as you can also see I've got it currently on um, fan speed 2 so it's not on the, um, the super super high so we're on medium fires going nicely Water starting to go a little, a little bit here. Starting to smoke a little bit. All right, we're just over a minute. Speaker still charging at medium heat. It's picking up uh, still only two bars on here. We've got some bubbles starting to form on the bottom of the water. Two minutes. And that is one cup of water that's in there currently, if I didn't say that. So that's one cup of water. It is smoking good now. Two and a half minutes right now. All right, I don't know about you, but I would call that a rolling boil. So, two minutes and 45 seconds. We have a nice rolling boil going on with that. So, definitely under three minutes here in Central Texas, you can have yourself some nice hot boiling water <laughs> how cool is that all right so under three minutes we have an amazing fire going um, we have the have it on uh, the medium fan speed and the only smoke that we're getting from this is the steam from our water that is boiling I am impressed. Our speaker's charging. So that's cool. And here again, um, we now have three dots, three dots on the um, fire. 
So we've got three dots on the fire. And uh, that's awesome. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pull the water off of here. So there we go. All right. Just set that down off on the side over there. And let's give you all a peek here inside the fire. So here again, that's at um, medium. Uh, let's go ahead and just uh, burn this in really good. Get it, let's get it going. This is some uh, small pieces that we had set aside from uh, a snowmageddon <laughs> here in central Texas. So uh, this is really dry wood. That's why it's smoking like it is. Let's crank that up one more. There we go. I want to get it hot. I want to see um, uh, that that heat probe uh, that that is our generator for fire, and see how high we can get um, this. Oh, we got four. We got four on there now. Nope. I'm sorry. We still got three. Still got three. I'm trying to see if we can get four. So really happy with the fact that we were able to boil that water in um, under three minutes. Now here again, I went with um, a more um, a, a wider uh, bowl, so the water wouldn't be as deep as if you were just putting um, a coffee mug on here or something. But. Uh, I love this thing. Um, you can't see it, I've, I've, but my BioLite fire pit is over there behind my uh, rowing machine. Um, I love my fire pit. That is amazing. And just realized that they had some uh, new accessories available for it, um, like a, a, a grill lid, so you can actually use it um, more like a you know, barbecue type grill, which I use it for that anyways. But um, Let's see what we got here. Still just got three lights on the um, on the fire generator, electricity generator here. Uh, still charging up. Now what you want to notice about that too is, is so the fire is going, um, fire is actually charging the uh, battery inside of the unit so um, the, it's still still hanging up there at the top too even though it's charging this so um, I guess I was looking at that kind of backwards initially whenever I started this so um, yeah it, it's charging the battery pack that's inside here the fire is so uh, a little backwards on what I said so I apologize for that so obviously it's going to charge this um, because um, it's using the battery pack to do so. So we're at four dots here now, um, and we're down one dot on the um, on the battery pack. However, okay, so this, there you go. Check this out. I don't know if you can see it. So the fire is charging, the light's flashing, so it's actually charging the battery pack there. Can you see that top light? Yeah, there you go, you can see it. So, so the fire um, is charging the battery, the internal battery here. So, um, sorry for that little bit of confusion, uh, but I'm new to this, so. <laughs>
So yeah, we've got, um, it's uh, providing half power now. Uh, so four dots on the, the flame thing. It's just got some nice, beautiful coals down inside there. I think this weekend I'll um, I'll hook this sucker up and and fry myself some eggs. How about that? <laughs> I'll cook breakfast out here on it. Comment down below if you'd like to see that. Maybe I'll even um, maybe I'll go live. Who knows? So the coals are still going down there, the fan's keeping it going. Wood gets smoky right at first, don't it? Right. So when the fire is going really well, um, that's when you're going to have less smoke. Um, so it has calmed down a little bit. It's partly, partly due to the wood that I've got down in there that's just trying to get going again, but put a dry piece of this stuff in there that'll help it. So um, yeah, we're down from four on the, the fire thing down to just two, and that's because the flames aren't coming up um, as strong uh, to heat that, that probe up. Because that's what takes that and generates that heat into the into electricity and charges that um, battery pack. So yeah, but um, I I'm super happy with it. Uh, it's nice. It's compact. It's small. It's like it's like 48 degrees here in Central Texas right now. So today was an awesome day to try this out. Anyways, but. Um, there, there the fire goes again. <laughs> so that, that fire will, it's got a little tornado going up in there. That'll heat that probe back up and probably change uh, your fire rating again. But so look at that. So. Once it once it gets heated up the way that it's supposed to, you'll notice that um, there's hardly any smoke coming off of here at all. Um, obviously, some things are going to change the way that that works, but um, biggest thing being the type of wood that you're using and stuff like that. But, uh, so there we go. That's on low, and that's looking nice. It's got a nice little fire going there. That would definitely cook something for you without any problems all right well I don't want to take this video too long I know how most of our attention span um, stops after just a couple of minutes but at least that's what the uh, analytics show <laughs> so um, thanks for watching my video uh, and I, I hope that you got something out of it here again this is the BioLite camp stove 2 um, Main difference is being a 50% more output in power um, from the generator. And um, man, I really like it. So I got it on Amazon. I'll have the link down below. They do have some accessories that you can get for it um, to where you can have like a, a little griddle out here, you know, or a grill even. Uh, it's got it's set up more like a grill. You can cook some bratwurst on there, some hamburgers, uh, man, all sorts of cool things, you know potatoes and if you take the the grill the uh, grill piece off of it 
But um, so yeah, check it out if you like it. Um, throw me some comments down below here again. As always, guys, I'm not a professional. I don't get sponsored. I have no one giving me this product to to review for you. I just wanted to do a video and show you um, how it operates. So really, that's a, that's really about it. And I actually got some some uh, my breath's visible out here. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks so much for watching. Um, as always, we appreciate your your likes, your comments, your subscription if you haven't subscribed already. Um, and then if you want to share this video, that's awesome too. Help us help us get out there and reach more people. All right. Thanks so much for watching. As always, God bless. When life keeps falling and wonder where he is in all this mess, he's right there to guide you, unseen you're not alone.